Yo guys, this is Ryan here, this is your favorite Russian talking, and yesterday was my birthday, so thank you everybody on the Facebook who were wishing me a birthday, guys, I'm sorry I haven't made a video in a long time, because I think I'm gonna start streaming a lot more often, but the thing is, I just got bored of World of Warcraft, shoot me if you want to, I'm actually gonna be focusing on League of Legends over World of Warcraft, I think World of Warcraft PvP is completely, like, it's like McDonald's, it's shit, but we eat it anyway because there's no other good MMO experience game, PvP. And I know that a lot of people want to have a good MMO PvP experience in this life, preferably. But there are none. Uh, Guild Wars 2 was a good example of it. A lot of people bought the game for PvP and then just failed miserably. But even that, this video is not going to be about that. This video is going to be about me bitching at World of Warcraft and saying why the game became not fun. That's my perspective. Um, I'm very scared, honestly, I, I'm moving to League of Legends from WoW, it's kind of a big step, I'm probably gonna be still playing WoW here and there, but I'm too bored of the game right now, um, maybe I might actually wanna take like 6 months break or something, because uh, the game is just not fun, um, to, say, to say the least. Uh, I do work, I am working on actual instructional website for World of Warcraft and uh, to some extent League of Legends, but I'm... The more I'm actually playing the game, the more I'm actually getting bored of it to some extent. So, I'm gonna lay out the reasons why I think World of Warcraft PP needs to be changing. And this might be a little bit ranty. Sorry about that. I, this is definitely not the tone I want to set up. Uh, but I feel like actually I need to say, I need to kind of vent out a little bit here. So, let me know what you guys think. Okay? You guys ready? Okay. The very first thing I don't like about World of Warcraft is PvE versus PvP benchmark, where, where uh, classes that they have to buff up the classes the damage um, to for it to be viable in PvE, but at the same time that could actually produce a broken mechanics in PvP, and vice versa because the class is so dominant in PvP, it might not be the most viable option to pick for PvE. Two sides are completely suffering in, in that regards. A good example would be rogues, uh, subtly rogues, uh, frost mages. Uh, another good example of this would probably be um, Unholy Decays uh, Season 6 and 7, where the Scourge Strikers were sh full shadow damage and they changed the uh, Scourge Strike physical damage, thus destroying uh, Decays for Season 8 completely almost. We had like the lowest glad count possible back then but that's that's the stuff okay so so the first um and now i read the patch notes recently even though i haven't been playing the game i've been following the developers and i read the interview oh between the ghost crawler holink um uh, what's vanguard is somebody else and basically i'm reading the patch notes i'm reading i'm reading they're saying and basically they're saying that um, this is something that they sometimes they have to do where make a one ability hit harder in PvE but uh, hit less in PvP. Um, for example, a fine weakness or a class to smash. And they said something like we would rather try to stay away from it because people get confused while they're reading. Now, I honestly think this is probably one of the biggest insults a developer can give the community saying his own community is too stupid to read the notes and understand it. The thing is, if the person doesn't give a shit about PvP, he won't care about the ability hitting less than PvP and vice versa or different mechanics. The second thing I want to say here is that it we're not three-year-olds and we're not retards. So basically we can read the notes and we can understand what needs to be done in PvE versus PvP, vice versa. So I honestly don't understand the lazy concept uh, behind not, not balancing PvE and PvP separately. Uh, in my opinion, when it comes to MMOs, probably Guild Wars 1 was far superior PvP experience out of all the MMOs I ever played. I played it a lot actually the arenas uh, they didn't have a DK that's probably I wasn't very very attached to it uh, but they had a 
pretty cool perspective where one ability in PV will do X amount of damage, in PP it will do Y amount of damage. It will do this much crowd control in PV, in PP it will do this much crowd control, or even different mechanics of abilities. And I, th I think that World of Warcraft needs to produce more of that. I'm talking about the shatter mechanic. For God's sake, make the shatter do a five times more damage to a frozen targets in PV. Uh, but when it comes to PvP, I think the Frost Mages do a bit too much damage. Um, same thing for Rogue's Fight and Weakness. 140k eviscerate on my luck when I used to play is stupid. Like, I'm playing the game, people inviting me to low games, I'm like, no man, I'll play World of Warcraft. I'm logging World of Warcraft, I'm playing my Warlock, and all I get is a Thug Cleaves with 140k 2 back to back eviscerates on me. And it's at some point in time, after I got that shit, I'm, I'm like looking at myself, I'm like, my friends are having fun playing League of Legends, I'm over here getting raped by a fucking rogue in a 140k eviscerate. So my first thing is, make sure that, make sure, make sure, do a different coding for do different mechanics, PvE versus PvP, I think. Uh, please don't give us excuse that we're too stupid to read and get confused because it's very very um, Descending on us uh, and I'm talking if developer looks this vlog I hope he looks it but this is a very very descending thing to say to a person where hey, you know what? Uh, you're too stupid to read patch notes, so um, we're not gonna do this coding so that's my first thing. The second thing is, the th second thing is, this, uh, the second thing I want to say here is uh, long, long patch notes. Long patch notes. Excruciating long. I understand why it takes four or five months for Blizzard to provide a balancing patch. I honestly don't understand the reasoning behind it and I understand why they should be waiting it. Uh, the first thing is I, r I don't like milking and I don't like being milked like a motherfucker. So what I mean by that is, if the class is performing too strong in PvE in the current season, tone it down within a month. If the class is underperforming uh, or spec underperforming within a um, one month, buff it up. One month patch notes, one month balancing patch notes. I don't think the community is asking for too much, but five months is revolting. Six, eight months is stupid. Stupid. Uh, and the last thing I want to touch base with that is if the class if they fuck up on the class mechanics This is probably the most infuriating thing actually about World of Warcraft and the developers and their attitude is If the class if the class by itself if the class by itself uh, mechanics are come um, not what they expected performing in PvP or, or PvE they will just let the class just sit there being stalemate for the entire expansion good example would be Arrested of Druids in Cataclysm they were in the beginning, uh, half, half season 9 were pretty decent, then they got over nerfed and never ever returned back up. They were complete dog shit when it comes to arena. Then, then, we have another uh, affliction locks right now. And everybody says the affliction lock mechanics for PP is stupid, it's too easy to apply dots and they don't do a lot of damage. Um, and again, it looks like they're waiting for entire freaking expansion before they do something. Now, I know that they're saying that they're giving us 10% dot damage bonus from a 4 set PvP. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? 10%. There. Shut the fuck up, PvP guy. There's your 10%. There. Really. This is just... <laughs> that is... I'm speechless, okay? No, I'm saying it. Okay, you tried it, it didn't work for the first thing. Fucking rework the class. Again, we're not dumbasses. We can read. We can adjust our playstyle. Well, you change something and the person didn't like it and he quits the wow. Yeah, you cannot probably possibly uh, satisfy everybody, every single person out there. But guess what? That should not be the reason why you let the broken class, not viable class, sit for the entire expansion. This is another slap in the face. So the second thing I don't like about WoW is too long of updates. Extremely long, okay? Especially with their subscriber base. I'm talking about like a Guild Wars actually. Even Guild Wars have a little bit of faster patch notes and shit. So Although patch notes for Guild Wars 2 is fucking dark shit, so I'm not gonna even bring it up. But you know, honestly, like League of Legends have more frequent updates than actually um, 
World of Warcraft, even though League of Legends is 10 times more balanced, they're still balancing it out, trying to tone it down or, or tune it up. So, the third thing about the World of Warcraft that I don't like with the passion right now is um, loss of individuality and or individual power, I would say. Um, there's a little thing you can do by yourself. You need to have a teammate, you need to have a team, you need to have RBG group, and right now it's to the point where nobody really gives a shit. Honestly, I think it's a little bit annoying or I think it's way too freaking annoying for all of us right now to actually, um, I don't know, I'm looking from my perspective. I'm logging in in League of Legends right now, I'm clicking play, I'm playing, I'm having fun instantaneously. The worst thing, I need probably another person to do a dual queue for ranked games. While at the same time, if I want to play WoW, I need to do threes, I need to do RBGs, and there's so much reliance on the other people to the point where it actually doesn't become a benefit, it becomes a huge disadvantage. Uh, let me give you in perspective. Um, you don't have a lot of fun by yourself in World of Warcraft. You have to have a friends in there, and sometimes when you want to take a break, or something like that, I'm gonna give you right now a few examples. This is where it actually bites you in the ass. Good example would be, I'm a pretty mediocre, pretty decent Shadow Priest for RBGs, but for arenas I'm under experience and I wanna get better. Now, for me to get better, I need to find my three partners for Shadow Priest. But at the same time I have a DK, who is my main. And if I have a threes that asking me to play on my DK and a threes that asking me to play on Shadow Priest, I'm most likely to gonna take my DK. So my partners with my Shadow Priest gonna say, think, okay, well he's not really give a sh to give to shit, uh, give a shit a lot about his Shadow Priest. Let's find somebody else. So they find somebody else. My Shadow Priest is out of things. I need to pick and choose who I wanna um, who I wanna stick with. Uh, so my suggestion actually would be introduce the ranked uh, skirmishes arenas. Can you hear me here? Hello? I guess I'm paying attention a little bit here. Yes, you. Um, ranked skirmishes um, idea is basically for a person to queue in randomly for skirmishes. Don't give it a gladiator or any other titles. Give it separate titles. Instead of gladiator, put like a assassin, murderer, badass, or some shit like that. But basically, basically, Make it so person can actually queue for skirmishes by himself, get a team, two DPS, one healer, and actually play the game how he was supposed to have fun. And play it for ratings, and actually be able to cap his shit as well. Same thing for rated battlegrounds. What this will create is um, a lot of interactivity and a lot of fun for people to have on their own, instead of just going out there looking for random pugs or shit like that. Because right now, it's nobody's even interested in that. Um, not a lot of people. They Everybody wants to have fun. Uh, nobody wants to log in and work. Nobody wants to feel like you're doing a grind. Special grind on three different tunes for Conquest Cap. This is this is pathetic. Uh, but this is basically it. In my opinion, they should make you be able to queue for skirmishes. In fact, if I want to learn uh, Shadow Priest Arena, I can just queue by myself, not rely for anybody else, and queue and play on my Shadow Priest. It's a great thing. Also, in addition, if people who don't actually have a very high achievements, uh, but they want to play with a good partners because they're actually maybe a talented gamers, guess what's gonna happen? Well, they're gonna go out there, they're gonna get a decent rating in skirmishes because, hey, they're pretty great players. And after that skirmishes, guess what? They're gonna have a skirmish achievements or titles, and maybe some of the gladiators would want to play with them because they did so outstandingly well in arena skirmishes. Just, just a thought. So number three is way too long of a grind. So the first thing my Baba was suggestion was skirmish. The second thing is make honor gear free. Make um you get from honor you buy enchants, gems, pubic hair, anything that you need to actually equip. Gold you buy it with fucking honor. Make it like that, so people actually will be interested in participating in PvP more, but also, also, ban any PvE pieces from PvP. Just make it not usable in arenas or RBGs, and give honor gear free. 
and make it so actually actually you are with the honor other things you can actually buy enchants and everything you need to support yourself so you won't be forced to either go buy gold or farm gold along with the fucking pp items stupid uh and another thing last thing i want to say is remove actual caps from the game there is no need for caps okay make it so if you play arenas you're gonna get 50 conquest points and for rbgs when you play rbgs you're gonna get 150 conquest points and no cap at all whatsoever so you can actually cap your tune you can actually get honor gear you can enchant your tune and you log in and you actually play arenas to have fun not to cap shit you don't chase the carrot of a better shiny epic purple that we already had for numerous times for that one particular item slot no give us actually the incentive to play for fun in the in the game instead of doing grind you with me here right now okay so that was number three that i don't like number four is the achievement system in world of warcraft when it comes to pvp stupid and the reason I'm saying it's stupid is because there's simply not enough people to justify the participation. 8 gladiator spots per season? That's not enough. For battle group. Not enough at all. And it's not about uh, amount of like increased ratios or anything like that. No. It's just not enough. Um, that's one thing. The second thing is there's not a lot of participation arenas. Uh, anybody play over 2300 LMR? Can anybody refer to 8 to 15 to 20 minutes queue sometimes for arenas and you get like a 1200 team? Or you might get like an 1800 team, 1800 thug cleave that randomly one shots your healer and you barely 2v3 them? And you, did it ever happen to me or just me? Me? Cool. So yeah, that's that's the thing. Um, the, I hate the tile system right now in World of Warcraft to gods. L uh, hear me out. You get achievements at the end of the season based on how you perform. So A, either you push at the end of the season or, or, which is very, very hard to do, or you just push everything straight up. In the beginning of the season, when everybody's queuing, you get high ratings, you stop and you sit on those ratings and you get a gladiator title. The PvP's achievement system in WoW actually discourages from participating in PvP instead of encouraging people to participate in it it actually big discouragement big discouragement motherfucker so what they need to do is actually do something like League of legends has where if you reach to like let's say 2500 you get a gladiator title regardless for that season that's it maybe after one month of opening the season whoever gets into to a 0.5 percent category gets gladiator regardless and that's it he got gladiator cool and if he gets into like 0.1 percent or something or on a first spot after one month arena has been released he gets his uh, rank one achievement and that's it keep the season going but people can still get those titles and you know what's a beautiful thing about this is people who got their gladiator titles guess what they're gonna do they're gonna keep queuing to actually have fun in the game instead of just sit on their spot in the letters and not do a jack shit. <laughs> Broken, stupid system that needs to rework. That's my another suggestion. And it was number four, I believe. So, uh, what do I have for number five? I think that's about it, actually. Um, oh, number five. Number five. There's new arena. There's new battleground. Who gives a fucking shit about that? We have enough arenas to play with. We have enough, enough battlegrounds. In fact, World of Warcraft has the most PP experience ever to offer. We don't need new arenas. What we need is a faster balancing patch notes. I think the release of ranked skirmishes, maybe a World of Warcraft MABA type of game. Basically different PP experience except for what they have. Rated battlegrounds and arenas. Increase the casualty level and increase of people having fun in the game instead of actually grind in the game. And then believe it or not, people are gonna have a lot more fun. So that's me guys. I will be streaming League of Legends today. I'm sorry, I'm not a traitor. I love you and I and I really really wanna play World of Warcraft. I just don't know how. 
because a game right now as it stands is extremely boring so that was me thanks everybody and do свидания